and uh, you will have uh, the ideas of uh, John Paul II you know, on the spirituality of communion, which is the fruit and demonstration of that love which springs upon, from the heart of the eternal Father, poured out to the Spirit, which Jesus gives to make us one heart and one soul. Ito po ang theme ng BCNE4 sa coming July. Because we are, we are following, following the, the theme of the parish, communion of communities. And so, in concrete, these communion communities uh, build, uh, bring us together to be the Christian community, the church of one heart and one soul, which is the expression of the mystery of the Trinity. That's why the church is also called the icon of the Trinity. And this uh, spirituality of communion enables us to see shining on the face of the brothers and sisters around us the light that comes from God. And it expresses also the sharing of believers in Christ and the bond that links persons within community, Christian communities and communities with one another. And thus, it is the profound expression of the union among Christians. It's, in fact, the spirituality of communion is expressed by Francis in his spirituality of the mercy and love of God. Because it's just another way of saying you know, this love of God you know, that binds, that unites, this love of God that is compassionate and merciful at the end is to bring about that unity. Ngayon, uh, John Paul II came out with a, a kind of a exhortation and a warning. Let us have no illusions unless we follow this spiritual path, external structures of communion will serve very little purpose. So, kahit anong pagbago natin, gagawin sa simbahan, no, yung sabi, new evangelization, pero kapag hindi tayo dumaan dito sa path of communion, the path that builds unity, path that, path that uh, emphasizes love and mercy, compassion of God, our external structures, our external plans will be of uh, no use. They would be simply become com com uh, mechanisms without the soul, mass of communion, rather than its means of expression and growth. Okay? This is just um, uh, a kind of uh, uh, overture on the, what I'm going to propose to you as the parang, ano, framework natin sa uh, yung ginawa niyo kami ng uh, qualities, no? Ito naman yung pinapropose ko sa, sa atin from the, from the reflection this morning. So it's, it's drawing from Paul, uh, John Paul II's uh, invitation to enter into the spiritual of communion which is based on the Blessed Trinity. So I'm proposing a spirituality that is Trinitarian to be the source of the spirituality of catechists, catechetical leaders. We are inspired by this, uh, the life of the Trinity, one and triune, uh, a family, a community. So uh, because of this, uh, on the light of this, our uh, first element of our spirituality is that of pastoral conversion. Okay. which we mentioned, which consists of getting out of the box like the Father, like the Son, and like the Holy Spirit. Getting out of the box is a term from the corporate, but getting out of the box is, has always been the style, the, 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 the methodology, the way God moves in the world. When you look at this creation story, God got out of the box. He got out of that chaos and brought life, light, order. Jesus, the reason one, again, in the resurrection, a simple explanation of the resurrection, God once again thought out of the box. Because as humans, our thinking is with death, that is the end. But with God, death 
It's not the end, but it's a means to draw out life, <coughs> eternal life. That's why he drew out of the box of the grave his very own son, showing us that love is more powerful than death. The Holy Spirit has always been working, doing, out of the box. As John said in the Gospel, the Spirit blows where it wills. So we cannot box the Holy Spirit. But, kaya when we get out of the box, we're actually doing the way, acting the way God does. Kaya ang hirap-hirap intindihin ng Diyos. Kasi His ways are not our ways, because our ways are all, all, oftentimes ways of boxing, putting ourselves, people, situation, hanggang dito lang. Kasi nga, limitado tayo. But God, with His limitless intelligence, with His unboundless love, will always find ways and means to bring us out of that and always be creative. And, okay? The pastoral conversion, therefore, means we have to be open to the Spirit, ready to change, and avoid the despair of the situation. Lagi na lang tayo sa mga pwede, eh, hindi namin kaya kasi si Father eh, kasi si Bishop eh, kasi yung coordinator ko eh, diba? Eh, pag ganun ang attitude natin, wala tayong mga mga magagali, mangyayari Spirit of Santa, kahit gusto niya mag tayo magbago, hindi tayo makaka. Or, on the other hand, it is two sins of the Holy Spirit, against the Holy Spirit, diba? despair and presumption. So, so in the catechetical area, we would say, the despair of the situation. Yung bang parang helpless ka na. Kasi, ang bigat-bigat naman. Hindi eh. Um, Tandaan natin, dilagay tayo ng Diyos dito sa ministry, at ang Diyos rin ang gagawa ng paraan para magawa, magkampa natin yung ministry. And then, to avoid also, on the other hand, the presumption of the status quo. Ba? We've been doing this all the time and we're okay. So, hindi namin kailang magbago. Ba? Yung bang taga, sisimula ka palang mag-propose, eh, amin na yan eh, noong pa. Eh, Mag-isip ko, kaya, kaya, kaya pag, pag ganun, nakasara na tayo doon. Ba? So, instead, we have uh, to reopen the spirit so that we undergo, we are able to undergo a personal, spiritual, communal, and structural organization of conversion. Of all the presentations here, they're all good, but isa lang ang paragay ko na think out of the box. Na get out of the box. And this group. What change will do I envision to apply, my, to apply myself when I go back to the ministry? You can have a lot of changes, but the change starts from us. If I go back to the ministry without myself convinced that I need to change some of my attitudes, then we will not get out of the box. Kaya nga, ang, ang, yes, ang yung, yung sinod was saying, personal and communal conversion. Let us not look at right away the structure. Let us look at the way, let us look at ourselves and start the change here. Open is the Father, yeah. So, so our 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 uh, way of looking at the ministry, the con this content is the, the as we mentioned earlier, the highlighting the love of God, His mercy and compassion. Okay? And open to the Son, the bread of life. We emphasize the importance of the bread of the word and bread of the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, which I I saw you mentioned also in the previous exercise, no? Then the second element is pastoral integration. Ito, I was inspired by Bishop uh, Archbishop Garcera last week when he talked to, when he gave his homily during the, uh, the uh, skip the uh, summer catechetical institute of the uh, program for the catechetical directors. Some of you were there, no? When he mentioned pastoral integration, which was a very very nice insight, the integration of life and faith. Yan ang mahalaga na yun sa catechesis. Which brings us wholeness, and wholeness leads us to holiness. And that is at the level of both ecclesial and pastoral. Yung bang, 
uh, makita niyo sa diocese o sa sa campus ministry o sa sa, sa eskwelahan, kanya-kanya. Iba ang CL department, iba ang campus ministry, ito ang social action. Lahat sila may pinapagawa sa bata, sa estudyanteng katoliko, pero iba-iba naman. Kaya kawawa naman yung katolikong bata. Di alam saan ba ako. But instead, it is the same faith which different dimensions. Ang importante, pag-isahin mo, integrate. This is not only in catechesis yung integration of life and faith is nasabi sa NCTP, but also the level of the pastoral level of pastor. So, diocese, kita nyo, ang programa ng Bible, yung Bible Apostoly, wala namang connection sa Bible ng H, wala namang connection sa Bible ng Youth Ministry. Bakit hindi magkais, magmumo ng isang beses, mag-ata ito, mag-usap, at para isang programa, intensification, pastoral integration. Okay? This is, this is what we need, no? As catechetical leaders, I, 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 so I um, proposing to you, when you, pro, when you do your program, always think of how this program will be uh, done in such a way that there is this pastoral integration now, within the person of the catechist and those who are uh, being served, okay? There's, therefore, uh, within this part of integration, the emphasis is Lex Credendi, Lex, credendi, lex Orandi, Lex Vivendi. No? Uh, the creed, the doctrine, the moral worship, and the morals. Okay? Sentire cum, uh, cum ecclesia, communion, integration with the church. No? And then, um, as, the, as a catechist, no? as, a, as a religion teacher, to be trained, we, train, we help them to become a, the messenger of the message with meaning and communicate it with inappropriate medium. Expand ko lang yung sinabi ni Magluhan, the medium is the message. Applying it in the catechetical ministry, it means that we train the catechist to be a messenger, communicating a message with meaning. Ito problema ko minsan sa mga katechista. Turo ng turo, copy and paste. Kaya sanay na sila mga katechista na ilagay sa manila paper ang paragraph CCC number 1231. Mas mababasa sa mga bata. Yun ang katechesis. Pumunta ka naman sa region textbooks ng mga Catholic schools, kita nyo, ilang pages ang kaya sa isang, sa isang libro, nandun ang CCC at saka CFC. Para sa Pag binasa ba ng bata, maintindihan yan. That is a theological language. And we are in the catechetical field. Diba? O, ginaba, bakit ginagawa yan ng mga authors? Pampalami ng page. Ang puno. Kasi madaling kumopya eh. Mahirap yung tingnan mo yung dokumento, pag-aralan mo, tingnan mo kung anong kahulugan yan sa batang tinuturuhan. That takes time. And that is one way of, of becoming a messenger with a message, with, ma, with meaning, and with meaning. Madali kasi kumuha ng, ano yun, ng technology. Pero pag walang meaning, it is a technology without a soul. But if we use technology with a message that is meaningful, then that is technology with a soul. And that is what we need today. There are, we've been using a lot of technologies, but bereft of the soul. That is why, nakikisali minsan tayo sa troll. No, basta kung ano lang tayo ng Facebook, social media, o kahit saan, meron lang tayo basta, basta technology. Hindi. The, 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 the catechist must be one who is a communicator, does not only use technology, but promotes a communication that fosters communication. For that, the message always has will be a meaning. Okay? Hindi lang siya copy and paste. And then finally, the third element, pastoral conversion, pastoral integration. The third is pastoral charity, as I mentioned earlier, the heart of the Good Shepherd. And under pastoral charity, we can look into this uh, following elements to, to uh, be the spiritual, to being missionary disciple, reaching out to the peripheries, especially to the poor and marginalized, and accompanying the catechists and catechists. 
This also was emphasized by Bishop Garcera and Pope Francis also. Personal accompaniment. You will understand the mind of Pope Francis because he's a Jesuit. And yung spirituality na apply niya subtly. No? Ano yun? Yung discernment. Lagi malakas yan. Discernment and accompaniment. Kailangan natin sa, sa bagong katikisi sa yun. The, the, uh, in the new evangelization is this sense of being able to accompany the catechist. Uh, to journey with the catechist. Like the, the, the Lord to the disciples on the road to Emmaus. No? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, second, uh, is respectful of the earth, people, and culture. So I refer this to the Father in relation to the uh, Lord Seek of uh, Pope Francis. No? And then, finally, is a builder of communion with God and with one another in the family, in the community, and in society. Okay. So you'll have that. These are just uh, actually uh, bullet points that I uh, reflected for this uh, for this session. Na, uh, ano kayang magandang fra, parang synthesis nitong spirituality for the catechetical leader. So one, one thing is importante, Trinitarian approach natin. Kasi ito yung, this is one of the base, this is a basic truth that oftentimes we let go kasi mahirap paliwanag. But actually, hindi kaya natin paliwanag ang Trinity. We just have to point out the manifestations of the Trinity in everyday reality. And top of this is communion. Okay? And then, after um, inspired by the Blessed Trinity, then one, the first element is pastoral conversion. And second is pastoral integration, and third is pastoral charity. Okay. And uh, to conclude, our model and exemplar is Mary, the star of the new evangelization. We cannot uh, overlook the presence of Mary in our ministry of catechesis because she is the first evangelized and evangelizer. She is the one who tells us how to be open to the Spirit, how to be obedient to the Father's will, and above all, how to be a loving mother uh, to her son. So, see Mary, the star of the adventure. Tomorrow is the, is the uh, fourth Sunday of Easter, the Good Shepherd Sunday, so to say, a prayer for our, our world day, or a prayer for vocation, and perhaps it will be a good time to reflect, to meditate on our mission as good shepherds. Hindi lang po sa mga pare, but all of us involved in the evangelization and catechesis of the church because we somehow are given the mission to be good shepherds to the catechists that uh, we are serving. So we pray together tomorrow for um, wisdom, the same time courage to really be open to the stirrings of the Spirit in us so that as catechetical leaders we can bring our catechists to this part of uh, new evangelization. And epilog, bukas pupunta kayo sa parokya namin if you are invited. Uh, so, I am, we're supposed to, to present to you our children's ministry and youth ministry. Unfortunately, our 